One of my biggest faults when I first got on tour uh, was definitely fighting an open face, open club face. And what that led to was a lot of shots to the right. I used to really have a weak grip, really high right forearm. And what that does is it aims you to the left and you have to compensate that by having an open club face. So I would have an extremely high, weak grip, high right arm, and to square the club face, I'd have to come across it and hit a huge slice. That's pretty much the shot that I, I had to play. I knew that I needed to clean that up if I was gonna be a world-class player, and I, alongside my coach board, Summer Hayes, we worked on strengthening my grip, and that was the first part of, of getting the club face square. And also what that did was it aligned my forearms a little more square. And I think that's a huge part. Forearms and shoulders are a huge part of aiming. More important than the feet and the hips are the forearms and the shoulders. And I was able to learn that through my coach. But I've got, you can see, a lot stronger grip. And my forearms a little more straight instead of super high like this, a little more straight. And so I'm able to take the club back a little more square and hit the ball a lot straighter. So now it's just a soft fade instead of a huge slice and that's been a huge help for me. So I would say some of the checkpoints again are just where your forearms are aimed and you're able to put maybe something like an alignment rod over your forearms to make sure that they're aimed where you want to start the ball. And then, you know, at the top, it changes your wrist, your wrist action because the right hand's a little bit more underneath the club. What was the spin rate on that first one? 5,000? <laughs> and the second one, about 2,600? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's the difference right there.